Assalamu alaikum friends welcome back to another new video and today in this video we are trying to provide a valid SSL certificate to the local host keep in mind we are working in local environment we are only providing the SSL certificate to the local host if you want to provide a valid SSL certificate to a public domain you can watch our this video which I am providing you in the i button and in the description of this video so first of all I am showing you that I do not have secure certificate as you can see https slash slash local host i don't have the secure certificate for local host so what can i do here now just minimize it extract this file you can find this file in our videos description where you can download this file when you are downloaded this file extract this file okay this will ask a password the password is video one and then click ok and as you can see here is the extracted file open it and keep it aside and uh, here you can find a folder called them open it and here you can find these two files which will help us to create our certificate files so now go to Z now open xam control panel and go to explorer okay and keep it this side open here apache folder and here you have to create a folder which will be named crt and hit enter key after creating this folder go inside this folder and copy these two files here okay great now you have to create the certificate right click on make cert and run it as administrator okay so you here you have to type local host and hit enter key and here you can type any information and if you do not want to provide here information you can just hit enter key i'm providing here uh, information about country okay state and if you do not want to provide information it is optional it does not worth anything because we are working in local environment as you can see hit enter key hit enter key hit enter key okay the certificate is created open this local host folder as you can see it has created our local host folder for the local host open it and here is the certificate for local host okay so keep it aside and open and i am duplicating it here right now and go back to and go back again and here you in xam server you have to go to apache and go to config and here ssl.crt open this folder and as you can see here our new server.crt for localhost copy this and replace with this new one okay and here go to ssl.key and copy this new server.key and replace it now we do not want this folder here crt delete the crt folder we do not want it here okay now what you have to do is open xam directory go to apache config ssl.crt so now you have to install this certificate in your computer it is not uh, installed by default because we are working in local environment so first you have to install the certificate install the certificate on local machine next and place all certificates in the following store browse you have to install this in the trusted root certification authorities over here next finish so now the certificate is successfully imported in the computer keep in mind this certificate is only installed or import for the chrome based browsers mozilla firefox does not use this certificate so now you have to restart your xam server close if it is started just close it and start it again so the apache is started again so now i'm typing here localhost just i'm typing here localhost and hit enter key and now we will ask it for a https secure connection let's see as you can see our connection is secure and i can access localhost securely but if you open this link in the firefox firefox does not support this certificate which we have installed because firefox uses its own certificates so you may have problem while working with firefox and as you can see the firefox does not recognize this certificate this is the problem with firefox you have to manually import this certificate on firefox you can find the videos on youtube by searching this how to import certificates on firefox okay so now let's check it in edge it will also work in edge browser and as you can see it is also working for edge browser so thanks for your time if you face any problem in these steps you can ask me in the comment section and also if you have any related queries you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to like this video if this video is helpful for you thanks for your time have a good day allah hafiz